Prince's property is well known, sitting off Galpin Boulevard in Chanhassen, and now controversy over what will become of it. Developer Lennar proposes putting 181 homes into this property. A neighbor worries more homes would hurt his property value. Correct, that and then, um, and then more traffic, of course. Traffic is also a concern of another neighbor we spoke with. Absolutely. The proposal contains more homes per acre than the city's zoning allows. So Lenore needs permission from the city to carry out its plan, a case they made at Tuesday night's planning meeting. What I want to point out here is um, compatibility with the, the existing neighborhoods. In exchange for permission to build a denser neighborhood, the developer would give about 50 acres back to the city to keep as a park. The city calls it a density transfer. All that is typical. But what's not typical is who owned the property. Prince, he owned all that land. The county assesses the main 150-acre parcel at $17 million. The city's development director says Lennar is currently under contract to buy the land from Prince's trust. Neighbor James Gordon says the city should factor in the land's history. Oh, it absolutely matters that the property was his. It feels like uh, people are uh, greedy to not leave a legacy to this very important person that put Chan Hansen on the map. The plan calls for leaving this gatehouse and fence a reminder of Prince. Larry Stuvey worries about what will join that. We are not against the development because the development is going to take place, right? I believe the most of the community here is. It's just that it's the density. The city council's vote Monday night is to approve or deny the density transfer. In Chanhassen, Aaron Adelson, CARE 11 News. If the city council does not approve the density transfer, the developer could still choose to build. It would just need to be done within the city's zoning ordinance, meaning fewer homes per acre.